Good Monday morning, everyone. I am hoping everyone had a great weekend. We did. We were down in Tucson uh, working with Will Pena, and uh, I'm talking too loud. Um, we do have sound, right? Okay. Uh, working with Will Pena and the, uh, the Tucson Woodworking Group down there had a blast. You guys will see some clips on that coming up pretty soon. Um, and first thing I want to do is give a shout out to VO2. They sent me this awesome shirt. Uh, they're the guys I've talked about a couple of times and showed a couple little videos from David Hess and Chris Carter and the, the whole gang up there just doing a tremendous job for our veterans, our wounded veterans, and uh, helping uh, helping our veterans so much up there. And they uh, they actually made me a shirt. So check this out. I just I love the front of it, but I really dig the back. Very, very cool. Okay. So thank you so much, David and Chris and the whole gang up there. Thanks so much, guys. I sure appreciate everything you're doing and the wonderful gift. It sure, it sure wasn't expected, but uh, I dig it. I, I love it. I, I absolutely do. I'm honored to wear it. Um, Okay, so let's get into today's. What I'm gonna do today, and normally on Coffee and Questions, guys, I don't normally do uh, a demo, but I need to do a demo because of this kind of a follow-up to last Friday's where I did the new transfer process, and you'll remember that this is the one that I uh, that I transferred onto the board using the, the lacquer thinner. Um, so I had a question, a couple questions. How will this transfer process work on cedar? So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Again, I'm going to try and make this demo as fast as possible just so it doesn't uh, get long and drawn out. So what I did, this is a, a, a little image that you guys might recognize. It's the, the Keep On Trucker image. I've got one of my blank uh, cedar fencing boards here and I'm going to transfer this on here. You'll notice that I'm actually going to tape it down without gloves on, so it should go a little bit better than last Friday's. Got some great comments on that. Uh, so I'm just going to tape it in place, and this image is too big to, for the whole thing to fit on this board. This is just for uh, just for demonstration purposes. Let me uh, move my coffee. can't believe we dropped about 30 degrees in uh, like one day. It's like in the 60s, low 60s out here in Arizona in May, which is just crazy. Anyway, uh, all right, so this is printed again with an inkjet, or excuse me, laser jet printer. If you go back and watch Fridays. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use lacquer thinner and a paper towel. And I'm going to do actually a little bit, uh, I need to set that on the ground or actually down there. I'm actually going to do a little bit different thing here. I got some suggestions on the channel of using a a squeegee or a, a spatula. This is a, I've had this for like 20 years. I got it from a guy uh, over in California that does uh, vinyl uh, letters on windows and vinyl um, vinyl cut uh, individual letters for sticking them down. So it's a spatula made by Universal. I don't know if they call it a spatula or a squeegee, but it's it's very solid rubber, but it's got a real dull edge to it. So it works really good for this. So I'm going to just do my same lacquer thinner process that I did before. But then as I do that, I'm going to Rub that down, and hopefully this will come out. And I did. I also got a suggestion of using a spoon as well. Am I talking too loud again? Of using a spoon, the back of a spoon. So you you might be able to use that as well. But I was playing with this earlier, and it worked out really well. So I'm kind of hoping that it does. Now that we're on camera. So we're going to just let that set for a minute and kind of uh, let that lacquer thinner evaporate a little bit. Um, and uh, to answer another question, here's one that I did earlier. This is just on a piece of uh, quarter inch birch plywood. Um, so I, I, I've tested the, 
the cedar I know it will work so hopefully it'll come out but this uh, I am showing this because I put a, a coat of sanding sealer on afterwards and somebody several people have asked if you brush sanding sealer on there afterwards is it gonna smear is it gonna affect it this was only on there for maybe five minutes so it might not have even been completely dry but it uh, I put sanding sealer over it with a brush no issues whatsoever so you can absolutely put sanding sealer over this stuff guys if you need to so um, and the other th you know another process is I've used I've been doing this transfer process yeah you can actually kind of if the light is right you can kind of see where I put the sanding sealer not down here but in here but it works out really good another thing that even when you do sanding sealer I don't want to use a whole bunch of wood up to to play with this stuff so this will completely just sand off I can use my little um, my little orbital sander and sand this thing off completely and I've done that actually on this piece of cedar uh, a few times on the pine that I'm so you know in order to practice you don't have to um, you don't have to ruin any wood this is pretty much done let's hope this comes out check that out guys looks like I could have I could have done it a little bit better right in this area but that is plenty good enough to carve by so I keep playing with this whole process and trying to make it better and get a little bit better at it I've also had somebody on the channel say that they put uh, the lacquer thinner actually on the board but to be honest if I get an image that good and I and e and again I think I could have got it a little bit better here but if I get an image that good that's plenty good enough for me to carve by so you can see the difference between that one and this one that it really it really makes a difference using that little squeegee or spatula and you can probably use a kitchen spatula as well it's just I've had this for years so this is the first thing that I use and it works out really really well it really pull pushes that image that laser jet uh, ink down into that board onto that board much much better so you can see the difference on that so anyway so I uh, this transfer image process man I just dig it I I, I I I can't imagine doing it any other way as of right now so um, thanks guys all everybody for the great comments on last Friday's uh, um, newsletter Vicky's uh, she's making signals from the behind the camera so it threw me all off all right so sign carvers of the day here we go. Um, first, Steve Brown. Some really cool. Oh, you want me to hold it up? Yeah. Really cool graphics on there. That's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, that's our standing hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, but the the little quad rider. That's cool graphics, man just looks terrific great job and then this one is uh, very first sign and he's using uh, the drill master and the drill master base plate that we uh, now make and that drill master in case you guys don't know that's that little $25 router from Harbor Freight Jerry Gibbs. is that what it is Jerry, Jerry Gibbs, Gibbs yeah, yeah. Nice. and looks like he did it in oak that's what it looks like to me so great job you guys Terrific sign carvers of the day. By the way, I've got a stack like is incredible for sign carvers of the day. So Wednesdays will be another large sign carver of the day um, episode. We'll try and get as many in as we can because I got a I got a stack. So uh, keep sending them. I love it. You guys seem to get a lot of inspiration and a lot of ideas out of those. So we're just going to keep doing those as as much as we need to. Um, so keep sending those pictures uh, questions comments let us know um, again we'll have clips soon on our uh, trip to Tucson that we took the other day uh, just had a blast so much fun um, what am I forgetting that about it that's about it so uh, 
We'll have a demo and, and some good stuff coming up on Friday, but on Wednesday, again, new uh, a big sign carvers of the day. So everybody, I hope you have a great week. We will see you on Wednesday, and hopefully we'll get some decent weather in the next couple of days. It's chilly out here now, so it doesn't feel like the middle of May almost. All right, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.